Hello everybody, this is Chrome's Girl 018, and this is going to be my thoughts video on my blind reaction of episode 36 of uh, Dragon Ball. I should have gotten these done earlier, but I, like I said in the last one I posted today, I didn't get a chance to. I didn't have time, and I, when I did, I didn't feel up to doing anything. Because, like I said, just the kids have been running us ragged. It's going to be even worse for me because my mom goes back to work tomorrow, which means I'm going to have to watch the kids by myself. Thankfully, Jackson hasn't been as clingy as he has been, thank God. Anyway, um... Yeah, as for my thoughts on this video, on the episode, I thought it was really good. Goku actually kind of got a challenge since the tournament when it comes to a fight. Which is good, because, like Master Roshi said, if Goku had won the tournament, he would have been considered the best, and there would have been probably few people out there who could challenge him, at least on Earth anyway. Because, yeah, there are other planets out there with other people, at least I know that for a fact, because there's Vegeta, Piccolo, uh, who else? King Boo, others, I don't know exactly where they come into play, what their backstories are, or anything like that, I just know them, and I know the image of what they look like, that's all I know. And I know that's just probably from Dragon Ball Z, anyway, uh, as for the character there was Mega Metallotron? I don't know if they ripped I don't know if when they ended up making this episode, but they ripped off Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator. Essentially. Because that's what it reminded me of. A really bad Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. And a robot that fights with sunglasses. And the hair is just How could I not think Arnold Schwarzenegger with this? If they actually weren't going for it, they did a pretty darn good job of doing it without even thinking about it. <laughs> uh, but it was good that Goku actually managed to win, though, by a technicality since the batteries went out on the Mega Metallotron. And that's how I was able to win. How does it say to cook this? Why don't you get some more lights in here? Because I don't. Uh, let's see. Put in the microwave. Uh, put in the microwave and microwave it for like four, four and a half, or four and a half to five minutes. That's how long it says to cook it. You don't have to open the bag. No, it says do not pierce the bag. Four to five minutes. Yeah, you had to lay it flat. It says do not pierce the bag. And it'll slowly inflate as it cooks. Five minutes. Four and a half to five minutes at the most. Because I don't know the wattage of our microwave. Ugh. Interruptions. I would edit it out normally, but I don't feel like going through my edit editing software's process because that takes forever. It takes like 20... Like an hour and and a half to edit and render a or to render a the reactions normally. So I don't know how long it would take for this. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was good that Goku actually managed to come out on top, even though, like I said, it wasn't through actually taking out the Mega Metallotron by himself. It was the batteries that went out that took him down. But I am curious to see how he's going to do against that ninja guy in the next fight, because I know that's going to come up for the next episode. Unless for some reason they do a filler episode, I don't think they would. I think the episode next episode does talk about a ninja in the title, so... Yeah. But hopefully Goku will do well in the next fight as well. Anyway, uh, I don't really have any theories. I assume he'll rescue the chief and defeat the guy. It's... Not really much else that could possibly happen that would make sense. Because if he was to fail, well, actually, if he was to fail, the g general guy would kill the chief, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's all I have to say on the matter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.